comes as over the past 24 hours, Ukraine has tried to force NATO into a broader war, invoking Article 5, saying that, hey, this suicide drone that landed in Romania is Russian, and clearly Russia is attacking Romania, and therefore you should invoke Article 5, and therefore NATO goes to war and launches a full-scale war against Russia. To which Romania responded and said, nope, not going to nothing that Russia has done nothing inside of Ukraine or inside of Romanian borders, according to Zero Hedge just a, a few minutes ago. Um, on Monday, a very similar situation happened. Uh, Ukraine's attempt to drag the West into direct shooting with war with Russia has failed. Ukraine's foreign ministry spokesman Oleg Nikolenko say, said in a written statement that Russian suicide drone struck Romanian territory. Uh, well, then, of course, he cited... This is yet another confirmation that Russia's missile terror poses a huge threat not only to Ukraine's security, but also to the neighboring countries, including NATO member states, Ukraine said. Well, then Romania quickly rejected this narrative um, and its defense ministry refuting the claim, saying the Ministry of National Defense categorically denies information from the public space regarding a so-called situation that occurred the night of September 3rd into the 4th, in which a Russian drone allegedly fell on the national territory of Romania. Basically saying, nope, didn't happen. So this reminds me of what Ukraine tried to do with Poland. Remember, of course, the the missile strike, the errant air defense missile uh, that landed inside of Pol Polish territory and apparently killed a number of individuals. And then Zelensky got right on television and was like, we need to go to war. You need to launch a nuclear attack. Article 5, NATO needs to attack Russia. Mm -hmm. So this is absolute desperation here. But, you know, back to this point about nuclear war. I mean, what, he, what he's saying is that NATO has had every opportunity to really back off, step back, and call for peace, and instead they're doing the exact opposite. They're continuing to double down. Now NATO countries are rounding up Ukrainian men to send them back to the fight. They're continuing to send weapons. The Biden administration just doubled down on more money and, more, more money and weapons to Ukraine. So this ends with nuclear, some sort of a nuclear strike? This ends with some sort of a, I don't know, a tactical nuclear weapon. Um, and he says, you know, Putin is not bluffing about this. If your entire country's future is at stake because NATO has surrounded your country and is going to put nuclear weapons in Finland or, uh, or other spots right on their doorstep, this is yeah. not going to fly. Um, so, I mean, put it, put the shoe on the other foot. Imagine if it was the BRICS nations building bases in Mexico. Like, well, we made a, a pact with Mexico. Yeah. We made a pact with Canada and we're going to put some BRICS uh, bases there, you know, in those countries. What would we do? Right. Yeah. yeah that would never happen. You know, that's why Russia needs its own like Monroe doctrine, <laughs> like a, right. a meaning, a meaningless piece of paper written in like the 1820s by a, by an, an old president says you cannot well, build thing. military bases well, they in the Western had Hemisphere. A, a bit of it in the Minsk agreements, at least, you know, the sort of spirit of it, has, and that has been violated. So yeah. what would it be worth? It's anyway? like when the treaties protect us, we, we, we want to keep them. But when they don't, like when it's a treaty that we've signed with another country, we don't care. 